Hello viewers, this is Wagadaru now taking you through today's tutorial on depreciation and today's lesson we are going to talk about chain rule. So, so far we know that d dx of x to the power n is equal to n x to the power n minus 1. However, the derivative of a plus x plus b where a and b are constants raised to the power n is not equal to n in brackets ax plus b raised to the power n minus 1. So these are not the same and that brings us to the concept of chain rule. So differentiating such, cons such functions involves the use of chain rule. So suppose y is a function of t and t is itself a function of x. If small change in y, small change in t and small change in x are the corresponding increments in the variables y, t and x. Then small change in y, small change in x can be given by small change in y, small change in x multiplied by up and down by small change in t. When you try to rearrange you shall come up with small change in y, small change in x being equal to small change in y, small change in t multiplied by small change in t small change in x. Now in the limit as small change in y, small change in t and small change in x tend to 0, small change in y, small change in x tends to dy dx, small change in y, small change in t tends to dy dt and small change in t, small change in x tends to dt dx. So when you substitute that for this we shall come up with dy dx being equal to dy dt multiplied by dt dx and this is what we call chain rule. So we shall see how it is used to come up with a solution to the following problems. Problem 1 they want you to differentiate 2x plus 3 everything raised to the power 5 with respect to x. So in this case we shall first let y to be equal to 2x plus 3 everything raised to the power 5 and t to be what is in brackets and that is t equal to 2x plus 3. In that case if you put what is in brackets to be t it becomes it means that y is equal to t to the power 5 which is this y equal to t to the power 5. So when you differentiate to get dy dt we shall come up with 5t to the power 4. For t equal to 2x plus 3 you can also differentiate it with respect to x to get dt dx being equal to 2. Now from chain rule we know that dy dx is equal to dy dt multiplied by dt dx. So come and substitute your dy dt is 5t to power 4 come and put here 5t to power 4 multiply by dt dt dx dt dx is 2 so come and put there 2. So when we apply the 2 we we'll come up with 10t to the power 4. But remember t is equal to 2x plus 3. So come and substitute for t in this expression. You get dy dx being equal to 10 in brackets 2x plus 3 raised to the power 4. And that is how they differentiate 2x plus 3 raised to the power 5. So problem 2, they want, to, they want you to get the derivative of 1 over square root of 3x cubed plus 1 with respect to x. So we shall do the same. First let y to be equal to the given function and t being equal to what is in brackets. So this is in brackets. So t will be equal to 3x cubed plus 2. In that case it means that y will be equal to 1 over root of t. When you express this in terms of negative indices, it will be t to power negative a half. So when you differentiate to get dy dt, you will get negative a half t raised to the power negative 3 over 2. For t being equal to 3x cubed plus 2, differentiate it to get t, t dx, you will get 9x squared. Now from chain rule, we know that dy dx is equal to dy dt multiplied by dt dx. So your dy dt is negative a half t to power negative 3 over 2. Come and substitute negative a half t to power negative 3 over 2 multiplied by dt dx which is 9x squared. Come and put here 9x 
squared. So when you simplify, we come up with negative 9 over 2, x squared t to power negative 3 over 2. But we know that t is equal to 3x cubed plus 2. Therefore, when you substitute t here, you'll get negative 9 over 2, x squared, in brackets, you'll get 3x cubed plus 2, close brackets, raise the power, negative 3 over 2. So that is how they use chain rule, and I believe you can use the same concept to come up with a solution to the following problems. One, they want you to get the derivative of 2x cubed plus 3 raised to the power 5 with respect to x. And the answer should be 30x squared in brackets 2x cubed plus 3 raised to the power 4. Problem 2, they want you to differentiate square root of x squared minus 1 over x squared with respect to x. So you also try it out and the outcome should be x power 4 plus 1, everything divided by x squared root of x power 4 minus 1. And that brings us to the end of our lesson. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel, Roa e-learning platform.